the chamber choir is the group that I worked with during that class period. Uh, they are our uh, top auditioned ensemble, primarily juniors and seniors in that group. And we are headed into a concert next week. So the rehearsal we had was very much uh, preparatory in terms of finishing touches and really minute details. One of the, the main things that we did in today's rehearsal involved uh, little plastic flags that I actually got off of Amazon. Um, we started that last year. Students with singing alone have to make very specific choices when they're singing a solo about where they breathe. You don't breathe in the middle of a word. You want to find grammatical um, places to breathe. In an ensemble, you have much more freedom. And so students are learning how to build the skill of what we call stagger breathing. Uh, which means you can breathe anywhere you want because you've got multiple singers around you, but it's getting them not to just breathe when they run out of air, not to breathe all at the same time because they want to do that very often, um, but using those little plastic flags, they actually are visualizing the stagger breathing so they can see when their neighbor is taking a breath and then make the decision to not breathe there. This year's biggest goals for all the classes was building their um, musicianship through breath, through posture, I mean, those foundations. Um, and then learning how to sing together. And then most importantly, to me, and hopefully that's something that you see in the class, that they are happy and feel safe and feel like they can be themselves. Um, there's always an, a desire to better yourself as a musician. Um, I guess for me personally, this year was a lot about musicality and just being a smart singer and being able to sight read properly and, you know, practice things like stagger breathing and making smart decisions as you're singing. I guess choir for me is more of kind of like the rock in my schedule where I can kind of just relax and take a break while also kind of pushing myself to do better. It's kind of a moment where you can just kind of sit down and breathe and, you know, work with your classmates and your friends towards a common goal. I teach students to sing. I teach them to sing in an ensemble. But my students, I want to have them walk out the door being able to sing in any capacity that they wish, whether it's in their car, their shower, a church or community choir. Many of them go on to sing in a cappella groups. I, it doesn't matter to me what you want to be, but I want to instill this gift in you and I want you to love it for whatever reason you love it. And then we do that and we create this family. So I fiercely love what I do. Um, my kids know that. I want them to be great at it and then go on to do it in, in whatever way they can and to be great people doing it.